Hi, this is Jim from Jim Dandy Audio. Today I wanted to look at how to take a budget guitar and make it sound like a million bucks, or at least make it sound better than it was before. Uh, I have here, I wanted to mainly talk about the changes I made to this guitar. This is an Epiphone Emperor Swingster. I got it secondhand for about $700 Canadian. Uh, I got it because it's a hollow body guitar um, it has these great push-pull switches that change the pickups from series to parallel or from a humbucker to a single coil sound. And of course, it's got this great orange finish. Uh, I dug around and found a recording that I did before I made a, all the changes. Um, so why don't we have a listen to that and then let's take a listen to what it sounds like after the changes that I've made so far. So, how do we get <coughs> from then to now? What are the changes that were made to this guitar? Well, <coughs> like I said before, it was second hand and it came with these light strings, the nine gauge strings. So the first thing I did was I just changed the strings up. Uh, I didn't go crazy. I just put on some uh, medium gauge, uh, 10 gauge strings, uh, just to give it, uh, just to avoid that thin sound. And at the same, roughly the same time, I found this fellow who was selling these picks. This is a cow horn pick. He told me at the time that um, these sound very similar to the original uh, tortoiseshell picks that are now illegal. They're not really made out of tortoiseshell, those picks. They are actually made out of endangered hawksbill turtles, poor turtles. Um, and so uh, the closest thing you can get to those these days is something made out of cow horn. Um, does this sound like those original picks? I don't know. I've never played with uh, these uh, illegal uh, tortoiseshell picks. Um, it is a thicker pick. I like the heavy sound. I also like the fact that it is um, not made out of plastic or nylon. Now these two changes are just very simple, inexpensive changes, changing up the strings, uh, uh, looking at the different types of pick that you can uh, play with, um, but they are definitely worth considering. Uh, they do have an impact on your sound, on the tone that you generate, um, and because they're so easy to do, they're easy, uh, easy changes to make. Uh, I also did two changes to the hardware on this guitar. Um, this originally, uh, the stock bridge that comes with the Swingster is a tunematic bridge. Um, I had a problem with that where the top E string kept popping off. Now that may have something to do with my clumsy playing style. It may also have to do with this ridiculous heavy pick that I'm playing. But nonetheless, the fact that the E string kept popping off made me look at bridges. I replaced the tunematic with this. This is a Compton Custom Compensated Bridge. Wayne Compton in Minnesota. Um, if you send him uh, some of the details of your guitar, the radius of the fretboard, um, the spacing of the posts for the bridge, uh, the details of the strings, he'll machine a bridge for you out of a single piece of metal. There's a range of metals from brass up to titanium um, that he will make for you. Um, this one I got here is the um, stainless steel. Putting it on is uh, very easy. Take off the strings, swap out the bridges, restring your guitar, adjust the height of the bridge. Immediately, uh, I got a brighter tone out of this guitar um, and the sustain was improved. Um, and the cost for that was about, about $100. After that, um, I did change the pickups in this guitar. Before we go further, a uh, word of warning. If you have a hollow body guitar like this, you'll see that there is no access panel. The only way you can replace these 
uh, pickups is to take all of the hardware, drop it into the body of the guitar, fish it out, replace the pickups, drop it back into the body of the guitar, and then thread it back out into all of these places. And the access that you have for that is this little slot here. Somehow from here, you have to reach into this area, into the jack, all the way up here to the selector switch. Heaven help you if you have thick fingers. Uh, this hole, by the way, is called the F hole, which is how you will feel if halfway through this whole procedure something goes wrong. Uh, I don't want to discourage you from doing this, uh, just uh, encourage you to do your homework. There's some great videos on YouTube that will show you various options on how to uh, do this step. Um, I encourage you to do your homework, take notes as you go, and take your time. My brother sent me these two pickups. They're Dominger pickups, Joyce and Tammy Dominger in South California. Wind these pickups. These particular ones, this one is the Angel King. This one is the Bucking Bowl. Uh, let me give you an idea of the sound of that. I'll do first uh, both of these in um, uh, standard humbucker and uh, first with the Angel King and then the Bucking Bowl. So those are those two pickups. Um, pickups, of course, are pretty much the heart of your electric guitar. Um, so changing these up will definitely change your sound. Uh, the cost of these uh, pickups, they're about uh, 200 US, 250 uh, Canadian for those. The other two changes that I made for this guitar actually are after the guitar. Uh, they are um, a couple of pickups, uh, sorry, a couple of pedals. Um, let me see if I can pull them up here and show you these. The Effectrode Blackbird. This is an all tube uh, preamp pedal. Uh, it has two channels. Uh, the clean channel based off the um, Fender Blackface amp and then a, a drive pedal that's based off a, a Dumble amp. It actually has two voicings on that, the classic and the creamy. Um, and then I've paired that, I've paired that with this, which is the Two Notes Torpedo Cab. Um, this simulates the uh, power amp and the cabinet of various um, amplifiers. Uh, both of these are uh, very, very versatile. Um, sort of a, a interesting pairing given that the Effectrode Blackbird is all analog while the uh, torpedo, the two notes torpedo cab is um, a simulation using uh, impulse response files. You can load your own impulse response files into that. Uh, it comes with a set. Uh, there's eight power amp simulations and 30, about 30 cabinet simulations in there. Um, and so uh, with both of these, just as they are, you get a ridiculous range of sounds and tones to refine the sound of your guitar. So those are the changes and the uh, uh, adaptations that I've done to this uh, Epiphone Emperor Swingster. Uh, all told, um, probably the total cost, uh, most of this, uh, the the pedals and of course the guitar itself, secondhand. 
and all told probably for the modifications it's somewhere around $800 Canadian that I did uh, that I spent uh, making these changes and of course comparing that to a higher end guitar and amplifier you're easily looking at far more for that and uh, you won't get as much range of sounds uh, and I also guarantee you for every change you make you will learn a lot about your own guitar and what type of sound uh, what type of tone you are after. So I'm no guitar expert uh, I just wanted to uh, show you these changes in the hopes that it inspires you or gives you some ideas of things you might want to do for your guitar with your guitar. So thanks for watching.